Hello! <laughs> I see one person. It was very unexpected live stream, but let's just wait someone else. Maybe they have time to connect and chat with me a little. Okay. So, options. Okay, I'm trying it for the first time, the vertical version of the live stream on YouTube. YouTube is like chasing Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Hi guys! Oh yeah, I can see your messages and welcome to my live stream and I am so glad to see you everyone and I'm sorry that I've disappeared for a long time. I don't remember when was the last video that I published, not counting the yoga video which I actually had to delete because I messed up, I didn't put the music. Uh, and now I'm like in doubt, should I publish it again or not? Actually, I wanted to discuss several topics. One is, what am I gonna do with the channel that I'm having right now? It's a try on whole channel and my ideas, my what... Yeah, because it's been, well, you know, things been changing in my life and I'm like, well, maybe it's time to do something else. And well, actually, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, next, well... We have now an option vertical going live uh well i don't remember i don't know if you remember that how it used to be it was horizontal it was like kind of very um, you know compared to other social networks but right now it's very oh well all the messages i can see like like in tiktok you know it's so cool and yeah well first i'm gonna start these are my doggies and sometimes they bark so my apologies in advance and air conditioner let me turn it off because it bothers me so simba so why did i disappear for a long time well i think it was um i had a long break in november actually in all my social networks and i really had a break um like um emotional break i would call it that way uh, I needed to um, like to make a complete um, um, I'm, I'm remembering what what was happening that time but well my point is that yeah I just needed some time from all the social networks because it affected me and um, that's why I stopped publishing everywhere so actually meet my, uh, my one of my doggies it's Simba it actually was supposed to be a mini dachshund, but something went wrong with that doggy, and it grew up like twice as much. <laughs> now it's kind of big, like eight or nine kilos, but he's still like a baby, you know, very attached to me. So he's always with me, compared to another one that is Coco, and he's smaller, like four or five kilos, but he's more independent right now. So this is my like son, my baby, who is always with me okay oh thank you guys thanks okay checking your messages oh thanks babe. babes <laughs> thanks guys well so yeah continuing my story i'm not gonna get into like details why i had to make that break and everything but i was recommended by a specialist and um well that's what i did at the end one month of a complete break of doing um, just some things that I enjoy. I was uh, playing video games and I don't know, just resting home. I don't know, going out, and buying groceries and going. Even I stopped going to the gym. Uh, I was later recommended also to like try something else like activities. I don't know, yoga or something that I have in my sports center. So I'm actually right now got so interested in yoga. That's why I published that video, by the way, because I'm kind of flexible. Turns out that I'm flexible by nature. So it doesn't, I don't have, um, I'm not doing too much effort compared to the people who really start like me, you know. I've been going to yoga, I don't know how long, like but very little, maybe a month. Or, no, I think, uh, well, yeah, like a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. But my point is that I'm making a lot of progress and I really like it and I really enjoy doing yoga and I feel great after that. So guys, I actually recommend you to try it 
it's really cool you know it um, my I had the back pain problems looks like I got better uh, so yeah I'm like wow actually tonight I'm gonna go to another lesson and I'm trying to film myself uh, and publish it somewhere just uh, stay in touch with me in other so social networks as well because I have Instagram I have well TikTok I'm not publishing actually anything anymore because they were kind of with me they banned my big account and right now it's well I guess the rules are changing and everything but anyways I have Instagram I have Facebook and I invite you to check my other social networks uh, everything you can find on anizur.com uh, I don't know if I can publish it post it here somewhere in the message or not but well you can find it in any description of my trial haul video so someone says you should try learning a musical instrument it's good for mental health i know from experience yeah actually that would be great maybe a guitar i was always curious or a piano but for a piano what um, i can buy like this um, keyboard or what's the name like uh, right i don't need really a piano or a guitar i don't know and then compose my own music and songs and maybe i'll get famous <laughs> Maybe, maybe I will consider it. But right now I am really enjoying yoga because it's something new I'm trying in my life besides actually going to the gym. Another thing that happened in my life last year, actually, that I, because of my health issues, I, well, actually, I always kind of knew that, but didn't really take it very serious until the moment when my doctor said, yeah, you cannot continue doing that. And um, I was lifting weights uh, and now I cannot do that, like only go really easy, really light. So I had to stop doing what I really, what I was really enjoying, you know, no pain, no gain. Um, and right now I reduced spending time uh, at the gym uh i do i increase the time of doing cardio so my plan for example is going to the gym i do 30 minutes of cardio usually well it's bicycle and i got kind of bored of bicycle now i um, change it <laughs> exchange it for um elliptic i think it's called like this with the legs it's really cool 30 minutes and i see that i my heart rate goes higher rises uh compared to bicycle much more so I really like it, you know, the feeling and it's not about like really burning the calories, not for now. I'm not really um, worried yet, but I mean, the way I feel, it's like, okay, I'm sweating more. So it's like, I'm, uh, um, you know, more benefits for my body, for my health. So I'm doing elliptic by watching some kind of movie or TV series, usually on Netflix. And then I do some light exercises. It's more like a strength training, but very, very light like maybe not more than 10 kilos, depends on the machine, because some of the exercises, they are like so easy for me because I've been doing them for years. And yeah, I'm not that crazy anymore. So I do my uh, like a light routine, upper body, low body, depends on the day, abs. Um, actually, recently I decided to even change this. I mean, I'm right now doing like um, after cardio, I do like 50, 50, 50 of every exercise. Like, uh, if I can, without any break, like 50 reps of, I don't know, squats or some other kind of stuff. And like maybe four or five exercises like that. I don't know, plank. Uh, it depends on like my time, if I'm too busy in, uh, during the week and I know that I cannot go to the gym other day. So I like try to combine everything. Um, and yeah, for example, that's what I did yesterday. I did cardio and then I... Um, 50, 50, 50, 50 reps of each exercise and then plank, three sets of like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And then, yeah, what I started to do is stretching after, like cooling down my body and it feels so good, you know, um, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depends. Uh, it's really cool because I have yoga only three times per week. Any other days I doing it myself at home in the morning can do really enjoying it you know so cool or well at the gym at night after the training too because right now i go to the gym at night so i'm like changing some things 
in my life and uh, gives me pleasure. So, going back to I, when I stopped uh, publishing anything and I then I um, got back, like I was getting back slowly to the social networks and well, here I am, I am seeing that because the rules are changing in YouTube, they are getting more strict with, strict with the content that I publish, like this try and holds and there is like a very, you know, borderline that it's like you don't really know what's going to happen to your video when you publish it, if it's um, just a try and haul in the bikini in front of the pool and it gets limited right away and it needs approval, it takes a long time or it never gets approved unfortunately and you're like well but the other girls are publishing the same and you see that they are monetized because you know I get revenue from publishing the videos and it's like you, you get frustrated like so much effort into a video because it it's not just, you know, putting a bikini or a clothing lingerie and showing it off. It's an addition. It's promoting it in the, uh, all the social networks. And then it's like you get nothing. So I'm like, okay, well, I will see something else what I can do. And to sum it up, I've been thinking that what if I completely change the subject of my channel? And instead of just making try on hauls, I uh, do something else. That's why I made a um, quest. Like I asked you guys yesterday, like, what would you like me to to do this? I mean, for example, I've been thinking, okay, maybe I can give uh, like kind of a dating tips or like a tips for a man, how to I don't know um, attract a woman or something like that. You know, relationships. And well, a lot of people answered yes. Uh, and some other part no and I'm like okay I mean actually that's what I'm expecting because uh, if uh, I completely change the subject I understand that all these people that are subscribed to my channel they are well they're like okay we're expecting bikini laundry videos I mean what the heck are you doing right now so they are gonna unsubscribe it's gonna affect my channel and probably it will take some time a long time to recover but then I'm thinking okay maybe well anyway it's it's easier than starting my new channel and you know reaching the monetization and you know it's it's not an easy path i mean it requires a lot of time effort not giving up which sometimes it's like oh i cannot do this anymore and it's like well i i don't get what i want you know it's long it's hard it's not as easy as some people think that like oh you just publish a video that's it or some people are saying like oh you're just publish a video to get likes or it's for your ego or it's self-esteem well i can tell you that not really it's actually um, the advantage of youtube is that it can become your uh, income main income maybe at the beginning it's just a hobby but then if you succeed and success means persistence then you see the results i mean good results and I mean, the partnership, money, I mean, free stuff that they are sending you, so any, any other ways. Um, so I'm like, okay, maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, why? Need, maybe I need to try. I'm just not sure yet, thinking what's the right thing to do. Uh, another detail that I wanted to share with you guys is that I actually started also a new channel. Um, and I published like three or four videos only. It's about... Um, like how um, creating videos, I mean, videos for YouTube creators, when you're starting, you know, all the things that you should know, you, you don't really have an instructions, you know, from a YouTube that they give you. With time, you are getting to know all these things. And as I mentioned before, it's not easy. And you learn by making mistakes. And that's normal. That's how, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> a lot of people give up the best ones <laughs> okay i'm just the ones that i don't know persistence they continue they reach what they want at the end and um that's what i decided like okay i'm gonna make a try with these videos and it will take time and i'm not sure if i should continue honestly because i'm like well uh it requires a lot of time again and it's like is that the right thing to do you know to run between the channels and you know different subjects i don't know if it's mine but fortunately a lot of things right now can be done with ai artificial intelligence and that's why you need to watch my videos on another channel because you know i'm talking about that too it helps you a lot right now to become a creator 
So, and let me read some of your messages. Um, okay, like that. Hey, you. Hi, 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 hi. How are you guys? Thanks a lot. Okay. Ah. Oh, thanks. You're so nice, prime time. Thank you, Johnny. You're very sweet. How many languages do I speak? I speak three languages. It's Russian, English, and Spanish. Hola, como están, chicos? Me hablo español. Resgavarimo na ruskam. And I speak English. As you noticed. Well, without air conditioning, it feels kind of hot. Thank you, Jarvis. How are you? Oh, you're so nice. Thank you, Justin. How are you? Yeah, thanks, Johnny. I will, I guess I'll think about it and yeah. Oh, Harney, you are so nice. <laughs> thanks. I will think about that. Good morning. Hi, Brazil. Okay, what I noticed that compared to TikTok, it's like, it's the same, but it's not completely the same, you know? I don't like something about the messages that, or just, I forgot how to really use it. Hola, Roberto, ¿cómo estás? Thanks, Kevin. How are you from Philippines? So yeah, basically that's the thing, guys. We I'm talking about. Let's hear my Simba. He <laughs> doesn't like when I bother him, but he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Look at that baby. So yeah, I'm a dog mom. Love my doggies. So yeah, today is... Ah, what I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm planning, because I have an Instagram account and I have a subscription option. I think I'm gonna publish their uh, yoga content. So if you are interested, you can subscribe, I think, in Instagram or maybe in uh, YouTube too. I will think about that. But just um, uh, let's stay in touch and uh, check out my other social networks. So basically, that's it. That's the news. Um, for someone who doesn't really know me, I'm uh, <laughs> afraid of death and what happens after. Uh, not really, I mean... I understand that it's a natural process of um, being born, growing up, uh, developing yourself, I mean like career, study and everything, family, relationships, enjoying your life and then well you're getting old, there's nothing you can do of course unless they uh, develop some anti-age <laughs> uh, medicine that will uh, let you live, I don't know, maybe 50 years more after 80. Um, but, well, that's what's going to happen to all of us. Mm, maybe at least our generation, maybe the next generation, they will discover something. I want to believe that. Uh, but, well, I'm not afraid. Just um, what happens after death, I don't really know. I want to believe that maybe we become an energy and... I don't know, we just get connected to some something else. But, well, I prefer to think that way, not very sad. Um, so, yeah. What is my favorite thing I like to do when I have downtime, when I have free time? Um, well, as I said, for example, I really, I'm really liking yoga right now and I'm enjoying so much of um, doing all these asanas. 
and you feel so good. I mean, stretching is an incredible thing. Um, I like cooking and I cook pretty good. I'm not uh, hesitating. <laughs> I like spending time with my friends or I don't know, shopping if I have a chance. My doggies, I like to spend time with them. I know that they miss me so much when I am not home. So I really enjoy this time that I'm giving with them because, well, you know, life of a dog is kind of short compared to human life and they suffer so much when you leave them. So please don't leave your doggies for too long at home or at least get a couple because I have two and they're like, you know, um, I used to have one and then I, I saw that he was so anxious about me going out or leaving, you know, on a trip. And so I got another one and now they are like fighting sometimes, but mostly they love each other. <laughs> so what else do I like? I actually like going to the supermarket and buy my own groceries. I mean, not ordering them online. I really enjoy going to Costco. <laughs> Addiction. Or any other supermarket. Actually, we don't have too many here. I'm really wanting them to open HEB where I live, but we don't have that one because I think the city is kind of small. Uh, so they have Walmart here, Costco, and some other Mexican supermarkets that you don't know, maybe in the United States. So, well, yeah. And right now it's slowly, well, it's already hot, but it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter in Mexico. So I'm looking forward to get very hot weather and swim, you know, chill in my pool. Uh, it's really cool. And actually I like wa uh, walking with my doggies in the morning and at night, twice a day. That's what I do. I also like playing video games, but it's been kind of a long time since I played last time and it was what, 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 what game I was playing, the last game that I played. I think it was Assassin's Creed uh, Origins. I think. And I'm like, what up? Another game should I play? I don't know. I'm always like that. It takes so much time to choose. And then I start and then I quit because I don't like the game at the beginning because it's a lot of new things that you need to learn. And then I start again and I'm like, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> so maybe I am. Um, I'm gonna play something else. It's my anti stress toy. So yeah, I look like 23 years old. Well, that's great. <laughs> GTA, no, I, I like more games like, you know, open space like Lord of Tsushima or Assassin's Creed. Um, also, well, yeah, well, Horizon, Zero Dawn, Horizon. Uh, well, I played all these two parts um, and then additional content. Oh yeah, Assassin's Creed is one of my favorites. Ghost of Tsushima is, well, they are working on another one in the second part and I, wow, I'm waiting, waiting so much. God of War, cool. Uh, what else did I play? I played Uncharted, I played Lara Croft, Alien. I think it was one of my first games that I tried, video games. Um, what else? I played Mm, several parts of Assassin's Creed, it's Assassin's Creed Mirage, with I, which I didn't really like, honestly. Uh, Origins, Odyssey, uh, Valhalla, one of my favorites, actually, Val Valhalla. Um, what else? God of War. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I cannot remember if I played something else. Um, so, yeah. Red Dead Redemption DOS 2. Actually, I tried, I was recommended, and I was like, okay, let's try. But it's so boring at the beginning that I, I quit. I just couldn't. And I've been told that, yeah, it's like first several hours, it's kind of slow, and then it's the cool part starts. So I couldn't wait. I was just, um, I just, I just quit. But I've been told many times that Red Dead Redemption is a cool game the, the too. Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe I will come back again to that game. Also Returnal. It's such a weird game and it's such a complicated game, honestly, because you basically 
you die, you start again, it's like... Oh. <sighs> Thanks. Hi, Cyberpunk. It's where the Ken Reeves red appears. Uh, maybe, maybe I will... Um... I've been also recommended Final Fantasy, but I don't know. I don't know. I saw a little bit and I'm not sure if it's my... Uh my type it's like a huge uh, but you know the guys uh, i think it's in assassin's creed origins there was a part a quest uh that uh, bayek the main protagonist he finds actually i think it was a tomb um and there was a final fantasy character appearing and then he actually flies away i mean that was so weird at the same time cool What's my favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie. Okay, uh, for me, a favorite movie is the movie that you're ready to watch, you know, over and over again from time to time. And um, I think one of the these movies is a uh, Bridget Jones Diary. It's so cool, you know, especially oh, I don't know, maybe Christmas vacations or some, some. Yeah, usually I, that's when I watch it or I watch it from time to time. Um, then uh, Mission Impossible from the beginning till the end, all the parts. It's cool to watch because usually you forget a lot of things, you know. It's good to follow the story from the beginning. Um, maybe, well, Harry Potter, it's like a classic for Christmas, for me at least. Um, what else? Um, well, I actually never really liked Star Wars, you know. I was like, oh my god, it's like movies for losers and everything and now i'm a fan of uh, star wars but i watched um these um the old parts and well you know it's like first three parts where uh, anakin is growing they will becoming evil and then the the oldest parts i really didn't like because they are old <laughs> luke skywalker and everything and this princess but where Anakin is little, he's growing, he's, you know, how you can see how he is developing his personality and, you know, it's like sometimes you can see the evil and good um, part of he, him, him. And that's amazing. I think the actor is so good. Um, it's interesting how he didn't get that famous, you know, that his career didn't really work. Uh, but yeah, I loved it so much. And then I watched this uh, short uh, TV series of, um, what's the name? Oh. Forgot the, the TV series where, uh, well, he appears, Anakin to Darth Vader, and, but this, um, it's about another guy. And I forgot what's his name. The one who trained Anakin. Will you help me, guys? Bueno. What's his name? Please tell me. Obi-Wan Kenobi, yes. Yes, that's the TV series. Aha. Uh -huh. And it was really cool. It was really cool. Yeah, but that's the only things that I liked. I mean, the three parts of the movies where Anakin is... Um, found he was raised and everything he becomes a uh, Darth Vader and then the TV series of uh, Obi-Wan um, anything else no and the, the old parts well it would be cool to have remakes but not with the woke stuff so yeah I was recommended to play the Star Wars to um, game right there's but I don't know I don't know not yet Jedi, well, yeah, I think that's the game that I'm talking about. No, I haven't played yet. I'm, but I've been told that you need to try, you will like it. So someone is asking if I am dressed like that in normal life. Or that's just for um, content. Yeah, it's for just, just for content. I am dressing usually normally, you know. Uh, but photos and everything, it's like my image for uh, social networks. And another interesting question that I saw, let me come back. Uh, 
you have such a beautiful figure. Do you really watch what you eat or is it just from working out? By the way, your accent is absolutely adorable. Oh, my accent? Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I kind of... Um, okay, I'm really a sweet tooth. Let's start with this detail. Uh, but my thing is that I don't overeat. So I have a lot of chocolates or sweets everywhere that I buy. Oh, thanks, Danielle. Danielle. Stop seeking attention and go outside. <laughs> I will, no worries. I mean, it's just 10, 20 a.m. I mean, what am I supposed to do? It's like over 30 degrees outside. So, and I'm not seeking attention. I already got a lot of attention. No worries. I'm getting it. It's like um, not the point of that live stream. But anyways, and everywhere you can find like cookies or sweets in my house. But I think my... Uh, Benefit is that I eat just a little bit, you know, like to satisfy my craving. I, I know that I'm kind of addicted. Yes, that's a thing that I need to fight, but the fight is very hard. I mean, the force is not with me yet. <laughs> the force is not strong with me. And, but like I eat little by little, you know. About the normal food, like during the day, um, I think my... Uh, what helps me is not overeat, you know, it's like I eat sometimes junk food and I can eat chips and everything, but I don't buy big packs, I can buy small pack and sometimes, you know, like it happens when you are also in a hurry and you don't have time to really eat, so okay, yeah, I can eat chips even, yes, and I can even drink coke, but it's not my normal drink and I don't re usually buy it, but sometimes with the food, Junk food especially, it's like, mm, with the burger. Yeah, it's like, go light. No sugar, please. Uh, yeah, so from time to time I eat burgers, I don't know, french fries or um, chips, but it's, uh, I cannot say that it's very often pizza. I mean, I don't overeat. Uh, another thing is that I try to eat vegetables, yes. Uh, sometimes I get tired and it's like I have a break honestly because yeah I, you just I'm not that kind of person who makes you know a lot of like var variety of food of meals you know spending a lot of time in the kitchen yes I like cooking but um when you have like you know routine every single day you just get tired and I want break so I'm like I'm stopping and then I started again eating salads I don't know broccoli or uh, other vegetables it's like never-ending story uh, but I like vegetables. Yeah, I try. I try to eat them. Uh, what else? I um, what? Uh, another my achievement that I can share with you is that uh, it's been like probably several months. Okay, I have to admit that yesterday I ate a little bit of red meat, but I barely eat it anymore. Like months already that I don't eat red meat and I don't feel like urge to eat red meat. I eat uh, chicken, chicken breast mostly, and if I go to the restaurant, I order either fish or chicken, um, and that's it, and I feel fine. Yesterday, yes, I have to admit, because I, I have pelmeni, it's like Russian raviolis, uh, and I had them frozen. My mom made them when she was visiting me, so I'm like, okay, it's like cemento haron. I was like craving, and... Um, like Russian, kind of Russian food because you eat it with the cream and everything and it was it's kind of fast also I was like I don't want to cook uh, but okay I eat yes if I eat pizza I eat pepperoni and it's like I'm not making like a complete exception like oh no red meat but I it, I decreased it significantly I don't buy red meat uh, I don't order it on the, in the restaurant and I eat chicken, fish, I don't eat pork either, I've been, I, uh, I'm not eating pork already for uh, years since I think I moved to Mexico. Actually where I live right now, because I used to live in another state of Mexico and there people mostly eat red meat actually, carne asada in Monterrey, Nuevo León. Here when I moved to Yucatan, uh, people here mostly eat pork. A lot of local dishes are made with pork, so it's very fatty, delicious, but it's super fatty. So obesity is one of the, you know, things that you can see here. I don't eat pork. I barely eat red meat. So I'm, that's kind of 
all the details that I can share, but no, I don't have a strict diet. I, well, I'm trying to include more protein in my daily meals, but it doesn't happen always. It's either you're busy or you're tired or you just don't want and you want to, you know, give your body a, some something delicious to enjoy. And I don't think that it's bad. Um, just um, control, you know, yourself and your cravings. I don't think that something will happen if you eat, I don't know, like a piece of cake, like panke, no se de mantequilla, se llama, it's called, like um, butter cake, it's called, like a piece of sweet bread um, in the morning with a cup of coffee. It's actually um, recently that what I'm doing. This is my breakfast before it used to be eggs with avocado and I got tired, I'm like, okay, no, I just want to enjoy a little bit my breakfast. So it's a uh, sweet bread with a uh, butter, with a piece of cheese and with a cup of coffee or tea. Great. And it's like kind of light breakfast because I eat a piece of that like that. And usually I don't even finish because it's kind of fatty, heavy. And that's it. I get hungry and I eat something else. For example, today what I'm going to eat, I have salmon in my fridge, which I made like one day ago. Still, I have it. It's delicious, which I make in the air fryer. I also, another another thing that I recommend you guys just buy air fryer, it's a perfect thing or instant pot or air fryer because you don't, you reduce the um, oil consuming and you just need to spray a few times or even just not spray at all. That's where I cook salmon or chicken. Chicken also I boil chicken breast, like eat soups uh, or make fajitas, amazing delicious I'm actually hungry so yeah air fryer helps uh, what am I gonna eat salmon I think I still have some vegetables uh, like um, they are called these beans the green beans uh, that I made on the oh Coco it's having an allergy episode um, maybe rice what else do I have oh I have porsche it's a um, typical Russian soup with uh, betabel, uh, beetroot. It's this red um, red soup. It's called borscht. So I made it with a chicken breast, bouillon, and a part there's chicken breast, so it's delicious with a little bit of cream. That's what I'm gonna probably have for lunch. Um, so yeah, just my. I think my advice is not to overeat. I mean, you can have some cravings and you can even eat burger. Oh yeah, even, okay, I'm like, okay, Carl's Jr. I love Carl's Jr. And I'm like, okay, at least, well, I'm not ordering a red meat, um, right, burger. I am ordering chicken. I'm like, okay, well, nothing bad is going to happen if I eat that burger from time to time. It's delicious. Well, still get some protein. Not bad. And maybe you can have some side salad with the burger, <laughs> which my friends are usually laughing like, are you trying to justify yourself by eating salad with the, you know, cheeseburger or... <laughs> well, it's like, yeah. Uh, and also when I eat some sweets, what I usually do is I, I try not to eat uh, sweets uh, when I'm hungry. I know that it's really bad. Uh, I usually eat and then I have my dessert. So it will, it gives you the, the opportunity to still enjoy something sweet, right? But at the same time, you're not going to eat too much because you're already full. That's my advice too. Never eat sweet when you're hungry. <laughs> so, это правда борщ. Well, there's the guy saying that whoever was born in Russia likes borscht. It's this Russian soup. I can agree, but you know, it's been like several years that I didn't cook. I yeah, не готовила борщ, наверное, несколько лет вот жила в Мексике, и у меня почему-то в последнее время мне захотелось. И вот я прям супы не люблю, а борщ люблю. И вот я его готовлю, очень удобно, разогрел тарелочку, сметанку, там, курочку, и прям вообще отлично. So yeah, the, I haven't like cooked борщ for several years, and then recently it's like, mm, I don't really like other soups. Okay, I eat chicken bouillon with chicken breast, adding some, I don't know, side vegetables and everything, but borscht is my favorite, and I advise you guys to try it, it's really good, I mean, maybe it sounds very weird, because it's like beetroot there, but it's very delicious, and you just need to know how to prepare it, it's really good. Hi, Wagner from Brazil, 
Yeah, I am hungry myself and I'm gonna eat borscht right now <laughs> after I finish. <laughs> Is it true that Russian women know how to fight and use kung fu? Do you, you can fight a panda on your own? <laughs> Is that a chopal? If not a choke, no, of course no. <laughs> not. <gasps> Maybe I know how to fight using a heel, my shoe. <laughs> yeah, when I'm, you know, I'm having adrenaline in my blood and it's like, oh. I need to survive, but <clears throat> no, we don't know how to fight. Thanks, thanks. Um, yeah, my accent is always with me though. I, I don't know how to get rid of that. Uh, I guess I maybe if I have some special lessons, but um, though what I notice is that it's easier for me to speak Spanish recently than English, probably because I live in Mexico and um, Sometimes even when I think and I want to express myself, it's easier I'm thinking in Spanish than more than in English. Interesting. Thanks, Hein. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing well your name, but no, I, I just eat normal. I try not to... Oh, my thing. Not perfect. I mean, I don't have a very strict diet, but I actually recently gained a few kilos since Christmas. I gained like maybe two or three kilos, and I see that it's like a significant change. Some I bought like several pairs of jeans before, and then I gained weight, and they don't fit me anymore. And I'm like, okay, so now I need to buy jeans again. And I went to search, and I couldn't find the model of the jeans that I really like. So I'm like, what? Well, uh, and some of the leggings for the gym, they don't fit me, or some tops, so it's like, um, you know, but I'm not worried still. Uh, but I know that I reach at the one point, that age, when it's going to be more difficult to lose weight, because for me right now, before it was very easy, but I know that this time will come and I will need to take care of my diet more. <laughs> So, it was very nice to talk to you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my live stream. I'm gonna get going and I uh, hope to see you again. And hi, Canada. Nice to meet you guys. Um, I live in Mexico. So, see you in a little while just stay in touch take, uh, check my other social networks you can find them on anizur.com um, because i publish stories there reels shorts uh, sometimes make live streams too so just you know enjoy my content and let's stay in touch bye